It's a beautiful day here. And let's be honest, Danny, no trip is complete without visiting a winery here on the Central Coast. Yeah, good thing we're at Dow and yeah. Paso Robles, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, Malou, I never knew the Central Coast was this beautiful. I know. This is fantastic. So we have to have some wine now. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Jenna. Thank you, Jenna. Cheers. Cheers. Time for more drinking. Yeah, I think we should drink and walk. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> For the view. Oh yes. Oh yes. That view. Oh my gosh. Malou. Welcome. Yeah. This is this is Down Mountain, right? Welcome to Down Mountain. Okay. We're so glad that you're here. It is stunning up here. It is so beautiful. How large is this whole property? 220 acres, and we are only 14 miles from the ocean here, and at 2,200 feet elevation. Uh, oh. A very exquisite property with very special soil for making world-class wines, and that's what attracted Daniel and George Dow here about 12 years ago. And they have a great story. Oh, Tell yes. us about the brothers. Oh, yes. <laughs> These guys are two brilliant visionary men, born in Beirut, Lebanon, um, 8 and 12 years old. Their life changed forever when the first rocket that was launched in the Lebanese Civil War hit their home. So family was very wounded very physically affected and ultimately the parents made the decision to flee their beloved homeland. They ended up in France and that is where Daniel first got his passion for wine. All right, so this passion is crazy passion because we're talking about cabs in the Central Coast, which is kind of rare actually, or they don't even do it here. Yes, so when Daniel and George Dow first came to Paso Robles and kind of planted a stake in the ground and said, we are going to make world-class Cabernet and Bordeaux varietals from the Adelaide district of Paso Robles, people thought, <laughs> Paso Robles, <laughs> this is not cab country. Um, but fast forward again, 12 years later, highest rated Cabernet is outside of Napa Sonoma, just got his first 200 point ratings and every single critic agrees, 96 points and higher for the majority of the wines. And certainly we know that people love these wines, the consumers love these wines. So they over deliver at every price point. So it sounds like we need to stop talking and start tasting. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm in for that. This is a wine that Daniel was inspired to make because in the United States, winemakers are not bound by the same restrictions and laws they might be in the old world. So this wine speaks to him being unbound by convention, um, a very unique blend of Petit Syrah, Tempranillo, and Tanat, grapes that are normally grown in three different countries. Mm -hmm. um, they're all here in Paso, blended together, and this is just one of our staff faves. Everyone loves this wine, so I thought I would share it with you today. You said normally um, grown in three different countries? Yes, yes, Spain, France, and um, in the Basque region as well. So, really oh, unique wow. blend. Um, look at the color, beautiful Thank you. color. It's, oh, All yeah, of our wines beautiful. have incredible color. Wow. Daniel's such a talented winemaker, and you can see that right before you even oh, put your nose in the glass. I couldn't wait. I just had to drink it. <laughs> you could dive Ooh. into this. Yes. For yes. sure. And wow, then we head over wine. into really his first passion, which is Cabernet and Bordeaux varietals. And the red Bordeaux varietals are Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Malbec, and Petit Verdot. And we have all of those varietals growing here on Down Mountain. And he loves Cabernet Sauvignon, but he's super passionate about Cabernet Franc. And this is a Cabernet Franc dominant blend. Oh, he needs a more touch glasses. of Merlot. <laughs> you um, have some and again, oh, you know I do. Do. <laughs> she is resourceful, this one, I tell you. <laughs> so this is called 1740, and it's named for our iconic bell, which you can see is our logo. We have a beautiful bell cast in 1740. Um, up in our bell tower here, she was originally from Santa Maria, Spain and the monastery that she was hanging in with her two sisters called the Three Sisters, it burned down. And so two sisters are still in Europe and one of the bells is here on our mountain, uh, reigning supreme up there over our entire terroir. Oh, yeah, yes, bell. here she is, our beautiful bell. Oh, yeah, that's nice too. Yeah. This yeah, is a Cab, really Cab Franc? Cab Franc and Merlot. Yeah, I Cab think Franc this one's Merlot. my favorite. Wow, that's yeah. so really far. good. Yes. <laughs> All right. Maeve isn't on it, Malou, but we have a little surprise. We have a birthday girl here. 
Thank you so much. I had no idea yes, you were doing yes, this. Yes. That's so sweet. And so the question is, what do you get a wine lover for their birthday? <laughs> well, there's one answer to me, and is that it? is the soul of a lion, <gasps> our flagship wine named for the brother's father, who taught them that no matter what happens to you in life, you have to come back roaring with the soul of a lion every single time. And so knowing uh -oh. you, we thought that was very appropriate. Thank you. Tenacity, courage, grit, Thank and all those things. So Thank you. proud oh to pour gosh. you some soul of a lion. <sighs> all right. Look at that. <laughs> what do you get a wine lover? Wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you so much. And I don't even know wine that well, but I heard the word estate, so I'm like, it's yeah. got to be fancy. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. This all comes right here from our estate in the Adelaide District of Paso Robles at 2,200 feet elevation. Beautiful wine. The wine that Daniel really was drawn here to make. This was his passion. This is why he came here to do this. Oh, how special. So, For happy you. birthday to you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. Thank you. I have to... We've got to savor this one.